remember me, I'm Dr. Coach Johnson, head Olympic scientist. I hope you enjoyed the torch experiment yesterday. Today we're gonna do two experiments, two experiments. Um, the first will make a beautiful rainbow. I even have a rainbow on my shirt today. Um, and rainbows always make me think of friendship, which is today's Olympic value. And then we're gonna do a cool experiment using the power of the sun. Hi everyone, for this experiment, we just need a couple of things. This is a very small plate. We need some candy. I think we're giving you guys Skittles, which work better, but we're gonna try it with M&Ms. And a little bit of warm water. It's important that it's warm. What we're gonna do is we're gonna arrange our candy in a ring. I wanna alternate the colors a little bit. And I don't know that I think the yellows work super well, so I'm just gonna make sure that we have lots of good color in here. We need them in a, in a good circle with no spaces. All right, let's try that. We're gonna pour the water right in the middle. Remember, it's warm water. Ugh! And then we just have to be, the hardest thing, we have to be patient. Oh, we see it. Do you see what's happening? The colors are racing toward each other, racing toward the middle. Which one do you think will win? <sighs> so beautiful. The warm water is melting some of the color off. Oh, wow, you guys. I wanna know from you what color won. Was it so beautiful at the end? And then let's try to do this and move it around a little. What happens then? All the colors mix up a little bit. Hey scientists, for our sun paper experiment, you're gonna need the following things. Um, some fun things to make prints. You could use leaves or flowers if you have them. You could use um, uh, anything that's sort of flat that you'd like to um, make a sun print of. You can, or you need tape. You might wanna try some sunblocks, some different sunblocks, and some cardboard. And then you'll need the special paper that's in your kit. Okay, everybody, here we go. So we're gonna take a piece of cardboard, we're gonna take our blue paper. It says to pin it down. I don't have any pins that would work for this. I'm just gonna use a little bit of tape in each corner. And the first one I'm gonna try is just a fern. So I'm gonna kinda of try to lay that down so it's gonna make a nice print for us here. Ah, I do not wanna do it. Yeah, hold on kids, hold on, we'll get there. There, that's a little better. I'll just kind of try to lay this down so it looks pretty ferny. Does it look pretty ferny to you? It looks pretty ferny to me. I want that very top in there. So I'm gonna do that. It says you can pin it down, I tell you what. I'm not, like I said, I don't have any pins. I'm just gonna use a little bit of tape to tape two little sections. Well, I finally got this one wrangled down a little bit, so. I had to go off camera for that one. So the second one, <clears throat> I had I happened to have a little daisy in my house, and I thought that might be cool, but remember it said to do something flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it upside down so it's pretty flat, so we should be able to see these flowers. <clears throat> and again, I don't have any pins, so we're gonna just, it's an experiment, right? So we're just gonna tape it down. I think that'll be cool. Also on this one, I thought it would be kind of fun to try if we have two different kinds of sunblock here. We'll do a sample, okay? We'll do a sample here of the SPF 50. And we'll do a sample here. This one just has SPF 4 in it. And we'll check that out, okay? So go ahead and put your get your um, sheets ready and we'll put them out in the sun. 
All right, so now we're sitting outside. Now the sun has gone away, which is not very convenient, but we're gonna do this for two minutes. We're gonna let them sit for two minutes. You'll see some things happened with my fern and it was not really cooperating, but we'll wait for about two minutes and then we'll bring our papers back inside. I think you can already start to see this, the paper turning a little bit lighter blue. We'll be back. Okay, our two minutes are up. You can see over here that the wind blew my fern a little bit and already you can see that some things were happening there. Let's take it inside and see what happened. Okay, let's do our little reveal here. Our cross worked out pretty well. That stayed in place. Let's see how our daisy did. Oh, look at how cool that is. Oh, look at how cool that is. Our daisy left a good sun print there for us. Our SPF things didn't really work out that well. Hold on a second. If we smear those off, can we tell? Well, it looks like the SPF 4 did a good job of protecting us. It, the, the light didn't get through that. This SPF 50, maybe I put too much on, but it doesn't look like it did very much good. All right, let's check the fern too, okay? Now, I remember I taped this one down a little bit. Oh, look at how neat that is. Okay, it's not perfect, not perfect. The wind blew it, so it kind of changed up here. So. Let's see, what did we learn? That maybe you have to keep it down a little bit tighter. It does say that you could put a little piece of saran wrap over it, but I still think my fern looks pretty cool and I sure love that daisy. I bet your Skittles made a beautiful rainbow and I bet your sunpaper experiment was really cool. But why did these things happen? For the Skittles, the warm water dissolves some of the Skittles and the color bleeds right into the water. That one's pretty easy. You've seen that before. For the photo paper, the paper is coated with chemicals that are really sensitive to light. The chemicals on the paper react to the light waves and the particles from the sun. So the objects you placed on the paper block out the sun. So the under the objects, the paper is dark. It didn't fade because the chemicals weren't impacted by the power of the sun. Hello Olympians, remember me, Albert Einstein? Today's Olympic value is friendship. Here is what I say about friendship. However rare true love may be, it is less so than true friendship. To me, that means friendship is very valuable, so take good care of it. You like my mustache? <laughs>